Welcome to Little Steps Big Games and the 30 Day Coordinated Training Challenge. Welcome to day one. I am thrilled that you're here checking out this challenge to see if it's a fit for you. Now, if you haven't already, please check out in the description below. There's an introductory video to this challenge. All of the exercises in this challenge are founded on a particular research study. They are evidence-based, okay? That particular study is on intensive coordination training that improved motor performance in degenerative cerebellar disease. So if you're here with a cerebellar disease, this really has evidence to support you. Now for the general population, these exercises are fantastic and applicable to other populations as well. Okay, now that particular study have physiotherapist Doris Britz. I have taken those exercises and modified the dosage to create diversity for 30 days so we don't get so bored doing the same thing. Okay, now each particular day has three postures. Okay, three groups of exercises. The first group is in quadruped, hands and knees on the ground. The second one is in kneeling and the third is in standing. Now it's important to challenge ourselves because without challenge, we won't achieve change, okay? However, we have to think about safety and if you cannot perform those postures and you wanna participate, let's modify them. Okay, so for quadruped, go ahead and get it a countertop or a table. If you are uh, leaning on that, obviously with the arms. Uh, for kneeling, have something behind you or beside you for safety and same thing for standing. Just remember, you have to challenge yourself but then do keep that safety as a priority. All right, I am so excited you're here. Let's just jump in and join along. All right, let's jump in. We're gonna first head to that quadruped, okay? Arms and legs 90 degrees. Tighten the core, lift one arm, tighten the core, lift the other arm. We're gonna do 30 seconds of just the arms. We're doing time because I want you to do quality. I don't want you trying to keep up with repetitions and doing it incorrectly, okay? Focus on quality. Here we go. Let's get ready, 30 seconds. Okay, lift one arm and keep alternating. Let's go to those legs, quadruped lifting one leg, alternating 30 seconds. Remember, tighten the core first. Good quality, okay? Here we go. job. You're amazing. Okay, 30 seconds, right arm, left leg at the same time. Tighten the core, okay? Here we go.
fantastic. Switch sides with me, 30 seconds. Left arm, right leg. Tight your core. Fantastic job. So next we're transitioning to kneeling. Okay, so for individuals that have bad knees, there's a few options. Uh, maybe grab some knee pads or purchase knee pads to, to give some padding there. Uh, throughout our videos, sometimes I'll be wearing them, sometimes not just to show you. Uh, the other thing is in the actual research uh, study, they did not use anything because they really want to challenge uh, that balance. However, if you are really struggling and you need something safety first, you can have something either beside you or in front of you because the two, uh, well, the main exercises for this are going to be to bring one foot forwards and one foot back. So if you need something on the side or in front, until you get a little stronger or for safety, that is an option. Then we're gonna be going from kneeling to standing. So either something on the side for safety or in front, okay? Remember uh, safety, but at the same time, challenge yourself. We need that challenge to get that change. All right, we're gonna get into that kneeling alternatingly, step forwards and backwards. We're gonna shoot for just over 45 seconds. We can do this, okay? Tight core. You are fantastic, okay? Here we go. Fantastic job. All right, this is not easy. We're gonna start with our kneeling to standing, alternating one leg at a time. Okay, so not easy. We're gonna take one leg, bring it forwards, all the way up, back, down, and then alternate, okay? Once again, if you need to modify, modify so that you can participate in the maintain your safety. Okay, we're gonna shoot for 30 seconds, alternating, okay? All right, just do your best. You are doing so fantastic. In kneeling, our next one is we're gonna lower and sit beside the heel of one side. Get right back up again. Whew, we've got this. 30 seconds at your own pace. Here we go. Sit all the way down and all the way up.
Beautiful job. Let's switch sides now, okay? Down and up, 30 seconds at your own pace. Fantastic job. Next we have our morning prayer. To do this exercise, we're going to go ahead and go into what's called package setting. We're going to put our hands together, bow our head, trunk all the way down, and then we're going to open all the way up. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Remember to tighten that core throughout all of these exercises. All right. Here we go. Oh, the end fantastic job. All right, you're amazing. We're going to go back to that quadruped and do some flexion. This is really advanced, really difficult, but really good for us, okay? If you're struggling, you're not alone. So what we're going to do in our quadruped is we're going to lift our opposite limbs at the same time, okay? So you'll lift them up, okay? Then you're going to bring them together. You're going to crunch everything down and then extend again. Okay, this is not easy. We're gonna shoot for 30 seconds, okay? Give yourself a little compassion if you screw up. We're all there with you. Okay, 30 seconds, you're fantastic. Keep that core tight. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna jump to the floor, work on rotation of that spine. Now, quick note, if you have osteoporosis or recent back surgery, back precautions, please uh, maintain those precautions. Maybe avoid these rotation exercises of the spine just to be careful, just to be safe. All right, for the rest of us, let's jump down, work on rotating that spine. Next, we're transitioning to the floor on our back supine. All right, this is some great rotation for the spine. Whew. We're gonna be on our back, put our feet together, knees are bent. Uh, we're just gonna go side to side, all right? So we're just gonna start with a five on each side. Alright, next we're actually going to bring our feet up. <clears throat> we're shooting for a 90 degrees though. 90, 90, 90 is what we're shooting for. I'm going to scoot over a little. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to rotate, trying to keep those legs up the whole time, 
We're gonna go for five on each side. All right, great core workout. Beautiful job. All right, now we get to transition to flexion of the shoulders. Oh, this should feel good. So we're gonna reach to the head um, and then come on down. We're just gonna do five of these. Next, we're transitioning to standing. Now, in the actual research study, they did not use an assisted device because in order to practice regaining our balance, we need to lose our balance. We have to challenge ourselves. However, unattended, we have to think about our safety first. So for that reason, you may want to have a chair hovering nearby. You may need to hold on just for safety and we have to modify and put safety first. Next, we are going to work on our balance through positional changes. To do this, we're gonna be touching the floor. So we'll start everything up tall, big, hip hinge, bend the knees and the back. Touch that floor, come back up for 30 seconds. Remember to bend those knees. All right, here we go. Fantastic job. All right, next, so advanced, we have from standing to quadruped. We're going to shoot for a minute. All right, just try your best here. All right, standing to quadruped. Amazing, fantastic job. Next, we're transitioning to our single leg stance. Standing on one leg, so important for our balance. Tighten the core. Every day is a little different. Today is 30 seconds on one leg, holding it up for three seconds. If you want to go up to five, modify just for you. All right, here we go, the same leg.
fantastic switch legs with me. Wonderful job. Next we have something called seesaw knees, okay? So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna um, have big movements. One arm is in front and one arm is in back. And if you have balance impairments and you're using a chair, hold on, hang in there with me. I'll, I'll, I'll address that, okay? So uh, just hang in there. All right, so here's the exercise. We slightly bend and switch and so which if you have something called parkinson's disease make this really big big hands big movements large amplitude all right for the rest of us though this is these big movements are so good now we're going to do 30 seconds but there are people that are here and they're using chairs or surfaces which is amazing that you are here oh that's fantastic but for that reason, we're gonna end up doing two sets of 30 seconds. Because for us that are using both arms, we can use the practice. For individuals that are using a chair or a surface, uh, we have one arm moving, and so we wanna give time for the other arm. Okay, we're all in this together. So here we are, 30 seconds. Try to make it big. So arms are opposite, recumbent motion, slightly bend and switch. All right, here we go. Amazing. Whew. If you're using a chair, switch sides. For the rest of us, this requires practice and it is so good for us. This opposite recumbent motion. All right, our 30 seconds starts now. First, we're gonna start with side stepping. Okay, so we're gonna take one leg, step it to the side, to center, and then switch to the side and center. If this is pretty easy for you, this is not the study, but you can modify it by taking a big step, lunging, and pressing with power back to center. That's just a personal modification. We're gonna do 30 seconds side stepping in each direction at your own pace. Here we go. job. Next we're going to transition to forward stepping. Okay, so we're going to take one leg, step it forwards and all the way back to center. And then we're going to alternate. Now if this is pretty easy for you, this is a personal modification, not in the study, but you can take a bigger step, kind of lunge into it and push back to center. Really try not to kind of creep your way in. That is a personal modification. 30 seconds, we're gonna just alternate side to side at your own pace.
You are so great. Next, we have backwards stepping, okay? So here we are stepping backwards. We're gonna alternate for 30 seconds, okay? If this is so easy for you, you personally can upgrade it. No pressure, okay? But you can take a bigger step, drop that back knee, and power yourself forwards. Oh, that's advanced. Okay, for all of us, we're gonna alternate 30 seconds. So good. All right, here we go. fantastic job next we have cross stepping okay this is not easy but we're gonna try our best to take one leg cross it over the other bring it back and then the other leg okay if you need something for safety prioritize everybody's modifying everybody is in some way or another all right so here we go 30 seconds just try your best job that is not easy last but not least we have this crazy dynamic alteration it's a little sequence that's going to take practice okay take your time it'll take practice so here is the steps it goes side forwards back cross step you're like I can't do that well, just give it a chance all right it's gonna take some practice we'll make our way back one minute Try that fast. You got this. job. Remember that one is going to require practice. Great job. Congratulations. You finished day one. Be so proud of yourself that you showed up, you finished, that you are here today. I hope that you enjoyed the exercises. Remember they have the evidence-based research to support them, to support benefiting us. If you enjoyed them or the session, please press that like button below. But beyond that, I hope that you come back. Jump in this 30-day challenge. You can do it 30 days because together, little steps, we can make some big gains.